we have a lot of new patrons this video. So thank you to Henrique Macha, James Schaffer, J Twitch GG, Nick, and a large thank you to Uzaf Ali Castle. Thank you all for your support on Patreon. You guys are the reason I can keep making these videos, and I greatly appreciate it. Okay guys, let's go over to the player here, and we're going to go to the input handler. So this episode will be about bug fixing, as you can tell, so it will be a little bit shorter. Because of that, I'll have a full-length episode out on Friday as well, so it'll be two videos in one week for you guys. So, first, as I figured out in my solo project, um, we're actually calling these input delegates, if you will, uh, every frame, which is very taxing. And by that I mean, um, not this one, let's go down to this thing, and here we go, uh, B input equals, actually this one's probably okay. I'm gonna move it for now just in case. So uh, copy that. Let's put that over on the enable. Uh, might have to move that one back though after, but right here. Okay, anyway, onto the actual ones now. Um, handle attack input. Here it says input actions, uh, player actions that are already performed. Uh, and then the weird syntax equals the bool. We actually only need to declare this on enable one time, not every frame. Um, if we do declare it every frame, what happens is Unity's garbage collection system actually has to work a little bit harder and that will cause um, slight frame drop um, droppage if you have a lot more stuff going on. I did not know this. Um, I thought they were they had to be declared in every frame. They do not. So for the sake of conserving memory and making our project run that much smoother, let's put them in the unable uh, functionality and we will just kind of do some editing here to our input handler and you will do as I am doing. So we want to actually just take all these things out and if they're, uh, if the function left is empty, just delete it and then place them up here as so. I believe we might need to move back the, um, the function with the B input because I think that one does need to be called reframe because we're not declaring it to a bool. Uh, well, we're declaring it to a bool but only if the input action phase has started. So let's minimize that and let's bring this one back down here and just try it right here okay let's save that excellent now let's start the game okay wonderful and we're moving around as is intended and we can roll and such Excellent, wonderful. Okay, the next bug we're gonna fix, we're gonna go here to our player manager. You notice the camera's a bit jittery, and we're gonna fix that. And our player kinda looks like he's moving a little jittery too. Well, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna find out where we call our camera based on fixed update. We're gonna bring our camera handler uh, functionality down to late update. And then we're going to have to say delta equals time dot delta time. We're just going to put that right above the if camera handler does not equal null. Float delta equals time dot delta time. Perfect. And what we're going to want to do is put everything to do with the rigid body for a rigid body's movement anyway uh, in the fixed update column. So I'll show you what I mean. We can take all of our player locomotion here and just copy that and place it right in fixed update. Actually, frankly, I think we can actually put back handle rolling and sprinting and jumping as those just play an animation in rear motion. They're not constantly moving our rigid body uh, as such. Next, let's go to our rigid body, and there's a setting here called interpolate, and we're gonna set that to interpolate. And now let's go to our camera handler and set the look speed to 0.01. And now we play the game, as you can see, our player moves a lot smoother. And this is because all movement that handles uh, the movement of a rigid body should be handled under fixed update. Uh, this is actually from Unity documentation, and uh, I learned this a little while ago. Also, camera uh, movement and camera updating should be handled in late update. So pairing those two things together, it gives you a smoother experience. Okay, back in player manager here, we're gonna take the handle rolling and sprinting and the handle jumping functions and put them in the regular update because they're not actually moving our rigid body, they're actually just making us play an animation and uh, we need to not have that happen on fixed update. It needs to happen every frame, not once every scattered frame. So save that and now actually input handler at tick input should always be above 
the player locomotion functionalities because we want to read our input and then act on our input after it's been read. So let's save that. Next, we're gonna go over to our sprint flag here in the input handler, and we're actually gonna set that to sprint flag equals B input. And then we're going to go to our player manager on the late update section. And we're going to get rid of this input handler as sprint flag equals false here. And we're gonna save it. Now let's start the game. And we can sprint. And we shoot a roll. Yes, we can. Great. Because of the new rigid body settings, we're gonna to have to actually turn up our fall speed, as you can see. So let's do that real quick too. Down here, I'm just gonna set mine to say uh, 700. Might be a bit too harsh. Okay, let's jump off of the edge here. Yeah, okay, that was a bit quick, but you get the idea. You can play around with the variables and the speeds and stuff yourself. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. It does genuinely help my series out so much. Thank you to all the recent patrons once again for your support and my patrons just in general. You guys are awesome. You're why I keep doing this. And it's just so nice that uh, I have so many people that choose to support me. Now, we will have a full length video out on Friday. Um, as this is a bug fixing video, it isn't really a full length episode. I will have that to you guys in just a few days. Expect more of these bug fixing videos in the future because as we create things, we're going to inevitably break some things and we're going to do things incorrectly from time to time. But that's why these videos will exist. It's all a process and it's all a part of the process. So I will see you guys in the next one.